please do not harass anybody, even if what they did in the past, present, future. I know that they are scummy, and let's get into the video. Hey, what is up, guys? I'm here with a new video. Anyways, I have another person to talk about. He is a TikToker. His name is Jackson Lowe's. He is very disgusting. I hope he gets banned on TikTok, or, you know, people actually cancel him. And here are the victims. Uh, please do not send any towards the victims. They are victims of whatever happened whatever happened because I saw the videos as uh, so let's let's just um you know try not to send any hate and if you do you're very disgusted towards me or no I disgust you for sending any hate is that how the words go I don't know if that's how the words go but um you know please do not send any hate towards them please don't do that they are the victims they deserve to have a voice so uh you'll see that video in a second guys i should be taking a break from social media but now i just i can't do this shit i have to speak up about this shit Basically, there's this user on TikTok that obviously has a platform named Jax Lowe's. And I used to be somewhat friends with him, and my best friend was also somewhat friends with him. And I remember we would play a card game together, and then he's 18, and I'm 17, and my best friend's 14. And he said sexual shit about me, about me being naked or something, and something also sexual about my best friend. That's fucking gross. I never said anything to him because I didn't want to be annoying or a burden to anybody. But he's lying his ass off to make it not be his fault. Even though there's so much proof and there's so many victims of him. I can't. Okay, so this is the person who faked mental illness. And there's another, you know, that same user in the first other video that they did the exact same thing. Um, so this is the person, um, they also turn off comments so you can't really say anything, so, um, yeah. <clears throat> the hypocrisy. Although you're sending out a good message, yes, it's not cool to fake soup, obviously. Again, you are being a hypocrite. I love how he tells people it's not cool to fake things for the attention of celebrities when he literally faked a disorder that he didn't even have the correct information about. Like, sir... Sir, if you're going to fake a disorder, at least have the right information. Let me just clarify something for you. DID is not your past self. DID is a disorder where you tend to have multiple personalities, aka dissociative identity disorder. Get off the app! So, oh, um, this person on TikTok, they're a user and stuff, and they have a platform. They've ruined many people's lives and stuff, and they've given them trauma, and their name is Jack Slows. There are many victims of them, hundreds, I'd say. Jax and I were somewhat friends, and my best friend, High Ghost, was friends with them too a little bit. One day, we decided to play a card game with them, and he made very many sexual jokes towards us and stuff, like naked jokes and all the other stuff. It was really weird, and it made me really unsafe and uncomfortable. There's been a lot of cases like this with hundreds of people and stuff that i've seen on instagram and on tiktok and i just wanted to spread my story for awareness and to hope that it gets shared to help other people and to get jack shut down for good i really don't want him on here anymore he's just a bad person he's ruined many people's lives like for part two here's part two of the jack slow situation so basically i was talking about how jack slows and I were playing a game, a card game, as well as with my friend. He made many sexual jokes towards us and stuff and made a naked joke. He's done this to many other teens below my age, which I'm 14, and he's done this to many teens above 14 as well. He's made many people uncomfortable and made them very unsafe. I've heard from, well, maybe over 50 people in many group chats. And, of course, on his live, I've seen that he's a groomer and that he's a pedo and he's made many really bad decisions and stuff and he has uh Jax makes people unsafe and that's not that's just not acceptable he's not a good person 
and he doesn't deserve to have a platform or anything like that because he's ruined people's lives and stuff and made them have trauma and those goes out to all the victims please share this video to let other victims share their stories please i hope that these girls are safe you know i'm glad that they're speaking out and i just hope that any victims come forward you know to also you know if they have stories as well for any content creators any youtubers and any celebrities that gone through this trauma and i'm very very sorry that this happened to you and i just hope hope that he you know he gets banned that they cancel him and you know these the the people you know talk about it more uh they, and also talk about how the victims go through all of this i mean i've never been sexually assaulted and i'm i don't know how that feels i can't say more to that but i'm just i'm just i don't know it, it just boils my stomach that this happens to to anybody it, it it it's it's also man as well and i just i just hope that the victims you know that are okay probably in the future and don't have to go through this again or ever like at all oh my gosh my stomach i just sorry it just like boils it just boils my stomach it just feels this not anyways that's all i can do for now just share sharing this story and you know hope that more victims come forward to any anything that happens towards them um but yeah i just i just hope everything's okay with the the hundreds of other victims that you know went through this and i just i just hope everything's okay i really do i just hope i hope i also forgot to mention that this guy jackson made the um his last post was uh made it like a trend or something made this like a trend or something and he's pretty much like making a joke out of it like what he did in the past he's just make he's making a big joke that's what i feel like and you can't really comment anything because he's he just turns off his comments so you can't really do anything but like you can i don't know band him i think probably i don't know <laughs> What else can you do? Like this, this guy is pretty much making all of this as a joke, and you can't really do anything. And just oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm calming myself down. But anyways, yeah, you can't say anything about this. Like on the comments, it's I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, guys, I did not know he had a YouTube channel, and he deleted my comment. So I'll show you the video. Abigail, do you like black people? No. Why? Because they like Playgirls. I feel that now cosplay. And it breaks my heart because they're human. Now that I know that black people are human, I love everyone. I don't want to kill them, then I'm quick. Cut them in the off, so don't get comfortable, yeah. Last city and where you are white. Ah, that's bullshit. Don't be racist. I am white, and I can say any word I want, but I'm respectful. <laughs> we are white people. How am I racist? I have friends that are black. I think I do.
He is racist. Do I care? No. And thank you. Can you check my recent post? It's really important and about animals. I don't care about stuff like that right now. You serious? I was telling. Don't think about it. Did Jax ever take pictures of you without consent? He took videos of me without my consent. There's mostly videos. And I was asleep in them too. I miss them. I don't know what my mom would think about me living in Tennessee with you at age 18. <laughs> I don't know why it matters. Age is just a number, guys. Yeah, it's not like you're fucking 11, jeez. <laughs> yeah. That's a different story. If you were 11, I... No. I Do would I date look you. sound or act like I'm 11? I... I don't date people for their looks. I date people for their personality and their trauma sometimes and what they've been through in general. We've, con we've connected a lot I don't, about our traumas and stuff. I don't care about looks for a relationship. I mean, I do, but not... I mean, those like those are just a bonus. <laughs> I'm like, really, I don't pay attention. I don't care if you're a boy or a girl or non-binary or gender fluid. I don't care if you're... saying the r word i regret saying the f word i regret saying the c word i regret saying every goddamn slur oh my god i never even knew they were slurs why is it that she's always on my streams i don't know why but she like really annoys me and she, i just wish she was here hmm? nothing hello hi No. No. A lot of friends don't make me happy the way she does. I don't call people fans that want to kill themselves. I'm sorry, but that's not cool. She owns the walkie-talkie, and it's just so cool. Looks just like Mike's. Exactly like Mike's. 
And I'm just like over here, like I didn't even get that for Christmas this year. That was like one of the things that I wanted the most was the walkie talkie and the watch. But I did not get any of those. I only got a bunch of expensive musician stuff. I didn't even ask for this much musician stuff. I asked for a walkie talkie and a freaking watch. I'm not like. Or messaging me the randomest 